Part 3 of the Katera story with unfinished project status, new spaceport facilities being built, and Home Depot and Girl Scouts train women for construction trades. Thank you for tuning in to Construction Business TV. My name is Joshua Vita and this is the Texas Weekly Update. Hello and welcome back to this edition of Weekly Update. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome. We are glad to have you here with us. I'd like to first mention if you are in commercial real estate, residential real estate, or a trade of any kind in the construction business, go to the description down below, schedule a free interview to be featured on Construction Business TV. Also make sure that, that bell and subscribe button also down below to stay up to date on what's happening in construction business. Okay, let's get that first story. Okay, our first story up today is about the Home Depot Foundation partnering with the Girl Scouts of the USA. And they will offer introductory trades, training experience, and career education for young women this fall. The GSUSA will host joint workshops for cadet, senior, and ambassador level Girl Scouts in 8th to 12th grades. These workshops provide hands-on experience in multiple construction trades, and the workshops will be led by female industry professionals. The Home Depot Foundation will also offer scholarship opportunities to high school senior Girl Scouts as part of its Path to Pro Scholarship Program, which grants financial assistance to eligible candidates for trade, college, or post-secondary programs. In Houston, on average, women represent 23% of the construction workforce. Okay, our next story up today is about that new spaceport facility. So, Intuitive Machines, a Houston-based company, is looking to expand at the spaceport. They currently lease 9,635 square feet in the Houston Aerospace Support Center located at 13150 Space Center Boulevard. The, the new facility will cover 125,000 square feet on 12.5 acre plot. Under a memorandum of understanding approved by the Houston City Council, up to $40 million will be contributed by the city to the new facility. The new, the new facility will also allow Intuitive Machines to expand its employees from the current 120 to 250 employees. As of right now, Intuitive Machines is looking to launch spacecraft to the moon in late 2021 or early 2022. Okay, our last story of today is part three of the Contera Incorporated story. I'll put part one and part two down in the description. So, Katera has left some projects behind after its recently declared bankruptcy. According to Katera.com, the company had a total of 17 projects in Texas with all but one completed. Hyatt Centric is a project that Katera was providing construction management for as one of their services. The Hyatt Centric is being developed by Mick Winnie with Hyatt Hotel Corporation and Nelson Partners. The project is located at Congress Avenue and 8th Street in Austin, Texas. The project began in November of 2019 and will offer 246 guest rooms and will be 31 stories high. McWinney released a statement to Construction Business TV saying, McWinney remains committed to delivering the Hyatt Centric Austin in early 2022. The construction team remains in place along with our trade partners and collectively we are committed and actively engaged to keep the project on schedule and we do not expect any significant delay. And that was given by Don Larson, Executive Vice President of Construction Management and Project Delivery at McWinney. Also make sure to check out other journal local journalists and Construction Business TV to see what's happening with Katera in their areas. Thank you again for watching this edition of Weekly Update. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you next week.